Congratulations. Thank it's going you. so well on Blackish. You're so funny on that show. Oh, you are kind. No, I, you're really, uh, you are so funny. And I'm curious, you know, some people get that way a little later in life, and some people just have it in them as a kid. Were you, as a, when you, were you making people laugh when I've you were very young? I've always liked making people laugh. I used to get kicked out of class for it. Right. And then also, <laughs> my, yeah, um, at dinner time, um, I really liked uh, making my siblings laugh, right. and I also had a lot of energy. I'm, yes. I'm like, it's like all through This me. is all so far, I can channel everything. How many siblings did you have? Th four siblings. But yeah. when I was growing up, it was three, because the boys didn't come until right. I was 15 and 16, but right. so my sisters. Okay. And at the dinner table, I used to sit next to my mom, and then Rhonda was next to me, and Chuddy was next to her. And, and I'll just point out, in case anyone yeah. uh, lives under a rock and doesn't know your mom, the great Diane Donna Ross. Donna Summers. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Streisand. Diane Ross, yes. Diane Ross. Thank you. I Take full responsibility for her career. She would have nothing right. without me. Retroactively, that's true. Yes, retroactively. Uh, anyway, so. But what I'm saying is it's just funny to picture Diana Ross at the head of the right. table and you being a wise ass. And this know? makes it even worse. So my mom was always like, okay, so you clearly have a lot of energy and are messing with dinner. Mm -hmm. So she would say, sweetheart, why don't you go outside and get your wiggles out? And so we had glass doors outside the dining table. So I would be like outside, like bouncing around. <laughs> and then I would like come back and I'd be like, ah, ah. and she, she would be like, are they out? And I'd be like, I don't think so. I've got more. <laughs> and I would go back out. I love like, them all eating a quiet <laughs> yes. meal and you in the background. Just bouncing around like an idiot. Now I make a living at it. So right, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, you know what, today they would medicate you. You know, That's, had I been. You might be right. Right, I'm serious. We live in an era now where they would have medicated me. They would have had a, a blowgun in Ridlin yes. and got me right in the but neck. But do you know what my pediatrician said to my mom when I was really little? I don't remember, but I was told right. that I was like a ball of fire, and it was her job to make sure that I went in the right direction, not the wrong one, but that her job was not to mess with the fire. Right. Because I just, I, I was like a big personality from when yes. I came out. That's you know, nice. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a yeah, nice yeah. way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. No, if I were, I was what I would have heavily sedated you. Uh, <laughs> you know, like you're very, uh, you're very verbally funny, uh, and you have great facial expressions, but you're also physically a funny uh, person. I, I seem was to. That, that's you too. Yeah. Well, I, I had to be to survive. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. When I feel a feeling, it seems to go through all aspects of my body. I'm like a performance artist with a feeling. Right. Like I'm sad. <laughs> dramatic. You could also call it dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a lot of things. This could be you're in a car accident. Yes. You know. <laughs> I can, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. So you're always, a very, you're very comfortable using, uh, using your body. body. I yeah. would do, yeah, I would use my body to just make people laugh because. That's totally a good way to use your body. Yeah. But it's sad when just taking off your clothes Not does good. that. Uh, <laughs> As a matter of fact. I wouldn't have Tony, to do anything. I just go, voila. That's not great. Oh.